Floyd Little. He was the next one, number 44. And uh, unfortunately, I was uh, gone from Syracuse when Floyd Little began his college career. I knew Ernie Davis, and I was there during the meet of Ernie Davis's career, although not there for the national championship. But they knew Floyd Little coming out of Bordentown, ready to come in to Syracuse and uh, get the mantle of number 44. And in 1964, I was uh, in basic training uh, in the summer at Fort Dix, New Jersey. And then after basic training was over, I remained at Fort Dix uh, to do some work completing my six months obligation. But my good friend, uh, Bill Phillips, he and I were buddies. Uh, he's on the options exchange in Chicago and a great sports fan. And we became friends in my senior year. So now all of a sudden, it's September, mid-September or late September in 1964. And Billy says to me, you know what? Could you imagine Kansas is playing Syracuse next weekend, Gail Sayers and Floyd Little. It's gonna be Floyd Little's first game at Archbold Stadium. I said, we gotta go. So now we plan to go. And then the company commander says, as we walk out of the barracks and start walking down the street to find a bus to get to go to Syracuse on a Friday, he says, where are you guys going? Uh, we're going to go see a football game. Little against Sayers, it's Syracuse. He says, no, you're not. You come back here. And we said, we're leaving. Whatever befalls us, befalls us. But we're going, and we went. And we had a wonderful time, and it was a signal game, a great game. The, uh, the, the Kansas Cyclone, Gail Sayers, a great running back, and Floyd Little, just a sophomore coming in there. And what a game it was. And uh, many people at, on the campus, of course, may remember that uh, – Sayers was held to about 80 yards rushing in the game and Floyd scored five touchdowns and had over 250 total yards in rushing, receiving, and in returns. And Syracuse won something like 38 to six, I think was the score. You don't forget things like this. And then he was on his way. So it was a great game that we went to see after we were out of college to see Floyd Little in his debut. Now, fast forward a few years later, 1977, I'm doing some football for NBC. We have a game in Denver, and Floyd Little is going to become an analyst. And Dick, it's going to be his first game, and you're going to be partnered with him. And we hit it off beautifully, and he did a tremendous job in his first game. So Floyd Little and I established a personal friendship at that particular time. We didn't communicate that many times over the years, but we knew of each other. And then, of course, in 2016, I had the honor of being inducted into the WAER Hall of Fame, uh, having uh, broken in at WAER, the campus radio station. And uh, to my great surprise, I mean, Jim Beheim was on hand and I've known Jim for years. So I was delighted to see him, but Floyd Little was there as well. So uh, that was the last time I'd seen Floyd and uh, it kind of rounds everything out from the time he started playing college football and then our last meeting on the campus at my WAER Hall of Fame induction. There are so many great athletes who get it done on the field, but what are they like off the field? And I think that uh, he was a, a, a special guy. I mean, when you talk about, uh, you know, role model, that term is thrown around, you know, like, uh, like Wood Nichols. Uh, Floyd Little was indeed the epitome of a uh, role model for people. He was a nice person. He was a kind person. Uh, he was considerate. Uh, and, and, and the way he was, uh, you know, off the field impressed me more. I've seen a lot of athletes in all sports, but Floyd was a, was a, a unique guy. And so uh, I think he, he was a great successor to the number 44 era of Jim Brown and Ernie Davis and then Floyd. I mean, Floyd Little, uh, you know, I mean, before the era of, of Elway and all of those guys, and they won two Super Bowls, uh, Floyd Little, you might say the Denver Broncos were always an interesting franchise, but maybe you could almost say that he put them on the map. 